Taking a look right now at the Democratic National Convention, where in just a matter of hours, the four day convention will begin. The event is expected to have speeches from current President Joe Biden, as well as remarks from former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. It will all wrap up on Thursday with a speech from Vice President Kamala Harris. This morning, the stage is set for the convention later today. In the meantime, outside the convention center, a crowd of around 1,000 pro-Palestinian protesters marched through the streets of Chicago ahead of today's events. Later this week, Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz are expected to formally accept the Democratic nominations for president and vice president. Yesterday, Harris told reporters she's putting the final tweaks on her acceptance speech as she made one last push through Pennsylvania ahead of the convention. CBS's Caroline Cummings has the latest from Chicago. Last night, as Vice President Kamala Harris arrived in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention, which kicks off later today. The energy is here. You're going to see it this week. Earlier, Harris and running mate Governor Tim Walls rolled through Battleground, Pennsylvania on a bus tour Sunday. I very much consider us the underdog. I feel like we need to earn everyone's vote. A new CBS News poll shows Harris making gains with a slight lead nationally over her GOP opponent, former President Donald Trump. Trump is back on the campaign trail in Pennsylvania today after rallying in the Keystone states over the weekend. Are you better off with Kamala and Biden than you were under President Donald J. Trump? I don't think so. Here in Chicago, the theme for day one of the convention is for the people with special tributes planned for tonight's headline speaker, President Joe Biden. There's also heavy security with thousands of demonstrators descending on the Windy City over the next few days. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson, who is also speaking today, says they're prepared and ready. We're going to protect those individuals who, who, whose voices are being heard. But we're also going to make sure that we have a vibrant, energetic, exciting convention. Harris is also expected to attend almost every night of the convention this week. Caroline Cummings, CBS News, Chicago.